was trying to catch you gushing over the bag. Oh, uh, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gush away, gush away. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just so cool. Thank you. Yeah. A couple of how many months ago? <laughs> yeah. I know, I. Thank you. Classic textiles, it is. <laughs> Do you bring any more of this? Yeah, but I want to help, man. I need no money to do this, man. You bring some more children? Why didn't you make it a pencil skirt? <laughs> Wait, look, look, this navy. The navy one. It's really Should pretty. I? No money. Oh. I thought you were on a fabric band. Forget it. <laughs> so she. It was not gonna happen. <laughs> I said I was coming here for the linen. <laughs> it's just not happening. Dreams, dreams, Bye. dreams. <laughs> awesome. So you're getting this in white, blue. Yeah, there's. A, they have it in navy. Uh huh. And I think I might actually get it in black as well. It, oh, okay. <laughs> so um, yeah, I want to make a jumpsuit. <laughs> I saw you first in Yeah, there's um, one from Berta I really like, and I think it would look nice in navy or in black. Then, obviously, I did the Marcella dress in white last year. Yes. And I'm going to make more. And I want to make a pair of, um, because the bone catalog came out long, and I have a pair of culottes in black. Yeah. And I think they look amazing with anything. Yeah. So you could like just make a pair of black So this is. Bianca feeling stuff. She's been buying loads of fabric and she swore she wasn't going to buy anything else, but yeah, that's <laughs> as we can good. see, she has the restraint of an eel. She's still buying. I came here earlier and I bought this ratty fabric, so I'm just going to. That's me in the mirror. I'm going to have a look and see if I can find something else. <laughs> oh, look at um, a possible um, for bags. We could use this as a for leather bag. I wonder how much they are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. How much are these? Um, oh. Oh, a meter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. It's really good though. Have you got um so if I want to make a leather bag, have you got bag findings like the hardware for bags? Not really. Yeah. The hat yeah. Hi, I'm Bianca. You can find me on Instagram under Sleepless in Bavaria, and I also have a homepage www.sleeplessinbavaria.com. I'm so professional. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Michelle. Um, I'm on Instagram at michelle.a.sos and uh, my blog is michellesos.com.
So cool. And I'm Dibs behind the mic, but you can't see me. Hi Dibs. <laughs> Hello. That's my hand. Ooh. That's my hand. That's my hand. That's my hand. <laughs> right. So, why are you guys fabric shopping today? Because we're addicted. That's why. <laughs> yeah. And you came all the way from Germany. Yes, to that too. So I'm visiting London this weekend, and I called Michelle and Dibs, and they were gracious enough to show up and go fabric shopping with me. <laughs> and what did you guys buy? Uh, too many things. Yeah, it's from skirt fabrics, shirting, shirting, linen, 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 all um, linen, cotton lawn, crepe, all the buttons that Nissan has. <laughs> Are you able to say how much you spent? Do you want to say how much you spent? I Are you hiding it from your other half? No, but it's. I was within the budget that I set. How I much was your budget? How high? <laughs> <laughs> it was a hundred pounds. I. I think you might have spent more than that. <laughs> okay, fine. Just a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, and I would, I would rather not tot it up, but I'd put it round about the same. Yeah. I know I spent round about that, and I bought a lot less than you guys. <clears throat> Let's <do this>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we went to the three pounds of mutual. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. 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 Whereas you went to Nissan. Well. Right, so, what's your favorite fabric type? I like woven fabrics. So, I like crepe, I like lawn. I like tweeds. Tweeds and big clay. Yeah. Fancy fabrics. <laughs> <laughs> Champagne taste. Yeah. On a Lambrusky. Lambrusky. And what's your favorite thing to sew? Dresses. Dresses and shirts. I like making shirts. I think that's so much fun. Oh, and I like I've picked up making coats now, which I really enjoy. Yeah. 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 For me, I think anything I can wear to work. So maybe skirts and blouses. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And what's the favorite pattern you've ever made? Oh, uh, I would say the Deer and Doe Luzerne trench coat. Yeah. I've made it a few times now and I've really enjoyed it. It's a, it's a big pattern, well, it's a big project, let's put it that way. And you can really sink your teeth into it and make it very personal. So yeah, I, I really like that one. I think probably the Sew Over It Pussy Bow blouse, which isn't overly complicated, but it turned out really nicely. It was the first thing that I made that when it was finished, I really felt like it looked exactly how I wanted it to look and I wear it all the time. Great. And so, let's see, I don't know what to ask these girls. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk. What do you talk about? <laughs> well, we're talking about what we want to make for summer, I think. Yes. Because I think it's time to put away all the winter clothes that are dark and make you feel sad. Yeah. So I think pop out the color and make nice flowy dresses. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm embracing like florals for the summer because um, I don't normally to work. I normally just wear like black and white. Um, but I think if I can get some good floral skirts, floral blouses, feel a bit sort of swishy and summery. <laughs> yeah. So, would you? Um, how do you feel about? So like I haven't sewn a lot recently because. Um, having issues with my ever expanding belly. I'm not pregnant, but all the fat on my body goes to my stomach, so I get really self-conscious. So how do you feel about sewing as an expression or sewing in relation to your body in, in, image? Yeah. That's a really good question. Yeah. Um, I can relate. Because uh, in the two years that I lived in the UK, I ate lots of fish and chips and <laughs> went up two dress sizes. And there was that, you know, when you look for your look at your measurements and you're supposed to choose your measurements and you're like, oh no, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> you're sucking your stomach while you're taking it. Um, and then obviously when you finish the project, you shock and shock horror. You realize this does not fit me at all. I can't even breathe in this. Yeah. And I think it's definitely being kinder to yourself and just ad admitting, you know what, it's fine. You don't have to be size XYZ, you can be the size you are and still dress yourself nicely. Yeah. And I think clothes play a very important role in how you feel and obviously also yourself 
uh, confidence yeah. and your self-esteem. And as long as you're happy with it and you think I look great in this and it makes me feel good, then who cares what size it is? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think the same. And like, I've been through the same. I remember putting loads of effort into like drafting um, my sloper like last year and making stuff from it, feeling really happy with it. And somehow, like all of that stuff is now a bit too small. <laughs> and I realized that I had to go back and adjust my sloper um, because my measurements are not the same anymore. Um, but actually, I think that sewing can be quite empowering in that sense in that I always used to really struggle to find like skirts that fit me well because my waist is a different size from my hips. Um, and the same with trousers, it just, nothing fitted quite right and it made it quite difficult at times to find my style in the shops. Um, so I think that's one of the really nice things about sewing is that once you get over kind of learning to fit yourself, learning to measure yourself, double checking the size of the pattern before you cut your fabric, um, that actually you can have the end look no matter what your measurements are. Um, and to me that's like, it's been a godsend actually. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Great, so what next? What are you doing after we leave from here? What are your plans for the rest of the day? Are you going to rob a bank? I'm, I'm, going, to, to... I'm going to Tower of London, so I will try to steal a crown. That is my plan. We're going to see you on the news yes. tomorrow. Yes. Right? <laughs> I'll be like, I don't know her. No. I don't no. know her. No. Um, I am probably going to try and go to the park this afternoon with my sons or do something. In the sunshine, which we have for once. Yeah. I am going to try to avoid my children for as long as I can. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so mean. I know, but that's me. <laughs> that's my number one goal of the day. How best to avoid my kids. <laughs> right, so that is all, guys. Thank um, you. Thank you for thank making you. time. And thank you for answering the questions, no matter how stupid they were. No. Thank you. We had so much fun, and it was so great yeah. being able to catch up with the two of you. Yeah. and. Oh, fabric shopping. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to see what the two of you make up with and all, you? The, all the fabrics and you that you bought. Yeah. I didn't get a lot of fabric though. I'm looking forward to see what exactly. you guys are going to make with your fabric. <laughs> <laughs> when next are you going to come to the UK? I don't know. Probably in summer. I was supposed to come to Germany. Yeah, I was supposed to you come were to supposed to Munich. come. Munich. I would look at the dates. <laughs> have, have a look at some of the dates. Yeah. yeah. Right, cool. cool. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.